What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture. And I just want to say this. Um, this is a precursor to our live show. This is an actual video, so no one gets confused. Our live show will be airing directly after this if you're watching it. Or what's going to happen is um, once this video is done, um, if you're watching the VOD, you'll get taken to the live show. All right. So I just want to talk briefly about the PlayStation hate that we are seeing like constantly our live show is going to be focused on the playstation challenges versus the xbox dire status as you can see there and there's a lot of playstation hate out there that's trying to equate some of the normal challenges and ups and downs that even the top businesses will see of their sector and how they got to make changes and so forth right um, to adjust to these challenges. They're trying to equate that to the dire situation and status that Xbox is in as a platform. I'm not saying that their multi-plat efforts are in a dire situation. I think they're gonna do quite well as a multi-plat publisher and provider, but the ecosystem is in a tailspin. They're being outsold five to one. And we not only have fanboys out here trying to equate and, and level and balance the challenges versus the xbox woes but we got journalists trying to do this crap too you don't know what i'm talking about let me show you something check this out so this is a tweet that i had to respond to paul tassie about and this is what i responded to paul tassie says after 15 years of doing this i still can't understand console warring is just so bizarre it's like rooting for sports teams and yet somehow way more vicious and personal and far more pointless but it will never end it seems what paul is talking about is he recently put out some tweets and put out an article in particular about playstation um and xbox having similar challenges like and, and and even his statistics were wrong he said that playstation was um above xbox only like two to one or something like that look in the last quarter alone that prompted um all of this speculation and all this talk in the last quarter of loan xbox is being outsold five to one all right so let's stay on topic let's not get in the weeds let's talk about what's going on now xbox right now in the most recent quarters being outsold five to one, right? Yes, did PlayStation and its financials report a dip of 29% in their console sales from quarter to quarter? Yes, this fourth quarter was 29% less in console sales than last fourth quarter, but the thing that's being taken out of context is that last fourth quarter was the biggest fourth quarter in PlayStation history. It was an anomaly. It was a peak. So of course, when you have those peaks, you can do nothing but do what? Go down. So even though they capped the year at 20.8 million, which is the highest year or a year higher, excuse me, than the illustrious PlayStation 4, like the PlayStation 4 has never shipped 28.8 20.8 excuse me million consoles in a single year so the playstation 5 this fiscal year just outshipped the playstation 4 in any single year of its monumentous run right nobody wants to report that they want to focus on this 29 percent dip from four to quarter four of the last fiscal to quarter four of this fiscal which again if put in proper context you see that it happened because playstation's current quarter four was going against a quarter four which was an anomaly all right that being said that's typical ups and downs Play playstation had a similar up and down when their entire fiscal was um significantly lower than their 2018 fiscal their 2019 fiscal was significantly lower and everybody was in the uproar oh, look at their stock price it's over for sony for only sony to come out this generation and romp xbox worse than they did last generation this is crazy. This is crazy talk. Why are people like Paul Tassi trying to drive this agenda? And now he's trying to point fingers at every at all of you. You're the crazy ones. You're the toxic ones. You're the ones that are making this far more pointless, right? Well, here's the thing. Let's take a look at it. I responded to Paul like this. I said, I like Paul and I do like him. Why do I keep, keep saying that I like Paul? I like Paul because in my stadia coverage days, there were some mishaps and misinformation. And even though me and Paul didn't agree on assessment type things, 
when it came to factual things, I could go to Paul and say, Paul, look, this is factually wrong. And Paul would make revision. He would, you know, check it out and make revisions. And I pre because he didn't have to do that. He could have just ran the bandwagon, read the, um, um, wrote the bandwagon rather, and just continued to, to report false information. So at least he did that. And then in my back and forth with Paul, he's never backed down. He's never ran away from a challenge. He hasn't blocked me or, or tried to, uh, demagogue me or anything like how, uh scary ass uh tom warren has done you know what i'm saying so i respect him for that at least standing 10 toes deep and willing to to go to battle but that doesn't mean that paul's without his flaws i say this i say look i'm not trying to be mean paul but as someone who's considered a, a, as a journalist like his he is when you repeatedly come to conclusions that are not thoroughly vetted it makes it look like you're in the same lane as these fanboys you went from both Xbox and PlayStation are facing significant challenges too, looking like you just discovered the gap in competition from thanks to Z Huge putting it out there to going, well, I didn't say they were the same. I said, sorry, that sounds like fanboy S damage control. It's like me saying today, Stadia and Xbox are in similar situations. You of all people know how much I love Stadia because we went back and forth about it all the time, but it's dead. Xbox's dire woes are far less than a dead platform. So if me, a Stadia enthusiast who talk regularly cr crap about Xbox, if I can recognize that difference, even though the Xbox platform looks like it's about to join Stadia, it's not there yet. It's not etched in stone, right? So how can, if I can recognize that, why can't you recognize the same when you're comparing Sony and Xbox? Therefore, comparing Sony's challenges to Xbox's woes as a platform right now is like a paper cut to a knife wound. And a knife wound that's just gushing out blood and guts. This is my message for Paul and other people that want to run on this narrative that gaming is dying or gaming is... Look, this sector is going through a correction phase. We see that. But that correction phase isn't stopping PlayStation from giving us some heat, some pure heat. You know what I mean? It's not stopping Hell Divers 2 on PlayStation alone being the number one selling game so far with Sukana. And that it means in North America. PlayStation is still clicking on all four cylinders. Do they have to adjust? like they did in 2019 sure and you got fanboys out here talking about what well, playstation's talking about they're going to be checking engagements now they've talked that again in 2019 when they got kadora up there when kadora replaced andrew house they talked the same jazz there did they significantly change like you guys said in 2019 no so why are you guys running into the same wall falling off the same cliff like wild e coyote in 20 24 five years later why because you don't do your research all you do is regurgitate bs that serves your self-fulfilling needs that's a to create silos where everything's got to be positive about xbox or if things are undeniably bad then it's undeniably bad for everybody right or because you guys were content creators who thought you were sharper than the listening public, you tried to fool them for super chat and ad revenue and tried to make it seem like that Xbox was going to be the superior product and you fell flat on your face. You weren't as sharp as you thought you were. All right. And now you're trying to save face and then trying to make excuses for your behavior whenever you get the chance. It's over. It's over. This is diminishing as a platform. They're going, going multi-plat. A PlayStation and Nintendo will have challenges, but they will make the proper adjustments like they always do, and they will survive because they know how to compete here. Xbox does it. That's simply it. Stop the hate, understand what's going on, and just ask, ask Xbox to do the same. That goes for fanboys and journalists alike. That's it from your boy. Get ready for us to talk about um, our giveaway you know on the live show if you're listening to the live show and we're going to shortly after that get into the live show um or just click on any of the cards that pop up and it'll it'll take you to the, to the live show as well you don't want to miss it until next time have a wonderful gaming day peace